I have been working on this for, well, I've been planning this for like well over a year and I've been putting the page together for about five months. I have been planning, researching, talking to people, planning more, researching more, talking to more people. Um, and I've been basically this whole video series you've watched so far was part of the plan. I wanted to, I wanted to document it and share what I learned. And I wanted to share what worked, what didn't so that people could take away from this and also to see what goes on for an indie dev, um, And how much fun it is. So much fun. We, ha we have so much fun. But you know what? Despite all of the hurdles and all of the setbacks that come up, I still encounter more. I don't know how there can be this many problems. How many things can possibly go wrong? Take a, take a wild guess. Multiply it a bunch. Exponen ex exponentiate. Exponent exponentialize it there's still more putting the crowdfunding page together was actually a lot of fun um deciding on the different rewards for backers deciding on the different stretch goals have been a lot of fun i am really excited to share it with people uh, i hope that they're as excited about these things that as i am because i want to include uh the community in the game as much as possible. Um, I've been doing it along the way and I kind of want to take that to the next level and I think this is going to be a really fun way to do that. I've been working hard uh, on getting everything done so that I can launch this campaign as soon as possible. Uh, I, haven't I haven't really been doing much else. Um, I don't have any cool outings or things to be doing because all of that has kind of been put on pause for the time being. I've been wearing like uh, little to no makeup and people have been asking me, um, Lana, are you sick? Are you dying? Are you depressed? Are you a clone? And no, I've just been, I mean, at least I don't think I'm a clone. I've just been working on the game. I don't, I have not been taking time for like anything that's not like, well, I've been trying to keep my place clean because I don't like mess and just makes me more, more chaotic than this somehow. <laughs> so I have to at least clean, but otherwise very little other things. I've talked with a bunch of people about um, running Kickstarter campaigns, people who have had success in the past or have done this in the past. Uh, and it's been really interesting to hear some of the takeaways and the experiences they've had doing that. My very rad friend Blair joined me for a conversation on the Twitch stream where we talked about running crowdfunded campaigns and he answered my questions, he answered chat's questions and I learned a lot and I think chat and myself both had a lot of fun learning from Blair. Blair has run two successful Kickstarter campaigns for his very cool VR cyberpunk games, Techno Lust and Lo-Fi. And a lot of people do it without even thinking about that you know like they just they they make a game they don't they don't share it with anybody outside of like their friends and family they they think it's amazing because their friends and family only tell them the good things and then they run a kickstarter without a community without any kind of presence and like yeah it's it's dangerous i think for technolust I just did what I called like a cinematic demo where it was literally just kind of teleporting through environments and showing it. So it's like a 3D trailer, right? Um, there was no interaction. There was no, it was, it was literally just like a trailer in a package. And then the next month, like during the campaign, I was like, that's all I was doing. I was like on Reddit doing AMAs or just, just, answering questions i was on twitter i was on like everywhere i could go like any interviews i could do any like press i could get and that's like that's like a full-time job and i don't think people realize a lot of the time when they when they do these things that it's not just like you you flip the on switch on kickstarter and the money starts rolling in right it's like no it's like <laughs> that's that's your job is doing the campaign for a month you know you're, you're not working on the game during during that month like you don't really have time
everything I've heard from everybody is stay away from physical rewards if you can, because it's a, it's a nightmare. After talking to Blair and other very experienced game developers, there are a few takeaways that I've heard and pretty much everyone I've talked to. Number one, make dope games that people want to back. Number two, a demo goes a long way. I wasn't planning on making a demo for the crowdfunding campaign, but after some thought, I think it will be a great idea to put together a demo so that people can fall in love with the game and want to support it. I didn't go into too much detail about the process of setting up the crowdfunding campaign, and that's partly because I don't want to spoil the rewards and the stretch goals until the campaign is released, because I want it to be a fun surprise, and um, yeah, I didn't want to spoil it. So stay tuned. Here is a montage of one time when I saw other people, and it was a lot of fun. He answered my questions and he answered chat's questions. Why does quest questions? Oh my god, I need to sleep. <laughs>